All right, so in the last video, we got the Junkers short block mostly finished. So for this one, we had to finish the top end assembly. Now we've recently come out with a new ported stage two OEM replacement head, and we wanted to put it on the Junker to test. So this is a, an OEM replacement casting that's ported and we've got bigger valves. So I had to uh, lap the valves in really quick on this head. And that takes a little bit of time, you know, lapping those in, installing the valve spring. Like, oh, don't worry. I was like, it's like, doesn't matter.
So after we had the engine in there, we wanted to pull the trans out, refresh it, make sure everything was ready to go. So Shad and a couple of the guys helped me pull the tranny out. Got the tranny out, um, checked over the converter, checked over uh, everything in the pan, made sure it looked good, slapped the engine in, and all of a sudden we started getting a crunch. We have like four days and there is an airstrip race in Junction, Utah. I was like, man, I want to go to this race. I haven't, I haven't ran the Junker for a year. So we had to come up with the turbo system pretty quick. So Shad went out in the shed, helped me do some fabrication. And we finally decided for turbos, we put a 472 SXE on the manifold with a T4 steed speed. And we're compounding it with a 116 millimeter custom GT55. Now this turbo, we built about a year ago for Todd to put on his Frankenstein truck. It's been sitting in his office for a year, and Todd, out of the nicest heart, is like, hey, Will, why don't you throw that on the junker? And uh, me being the opportunistic guy I am, I'm like, heck yeah, I'll put a big air setup on there. So we threw that GT55 on there, fabricated a hood stack, a couple other things. And while I was there, I wanted to make sure it would also fit an HX82, because I have one of those, and I want to test HX82 versus GT55. So stay tuned in a later video when we test that, because that's going to be awesome. But anyway, we got the engine in there. Uh, we set the timing conservative like 20 degrees, and it was time for the first startup. Let's see what the peak EGT was during the burnout. We did a little upgrade and we put a power driven 2000 degree EGT gauge in here because everybody always asks me, what are the EGTs in the junker? And I'd always say, does it matter? I'm not going to lift. Well, now that we're trying to test and get a little data, it'd be nice to know at least what the EGT hits. I'm still not going to lift, but let's see what it did during that burnout just because we have a gauge. So what we do is we hold down the button here for three seconds and when it flashes, goes back to the peak recall. Looks like about 11.25 for max EGT. Pretty cool, 1100 degree burnout. Guys, the junker is back. I'm super stoked. We're gonna take this thing to the drag strip, well, an air strip, and see what kind of times it'll do. So stay tuned as we take this thing racing. And man, it's making a lot of power. It's only at 20 degrees of timing. So who knows, after we crank up the timing, put a bigger pump on here, we might have a 13, 14, maybe even 1500 horsepower truck on our hands. That will be slick. By the way, Stroker Cummins, I'm a big fan, dude. It spooled that 472 like a champ. Thanks guys. <laughs> 